We get here at five with breaking news. The school's chancellor, David Banks, announces his plans to retire. This comes as the federal investigation dramatically expands their probe into the mayor's foreign ties. Political reporter Marcia Kramer has been following all the angles and the turmoil of the Adams administration. She joins us with today's update now, Marcia. Well, Christina Marie, school's chancellor David Banks has decided to retire at the end of the year. Officials insisting his decision was made before federal agents raided his home and seized his phones and that of his partner, Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright. Banks says he's incredibly proud of his accomplishments during his ten tenure. Meanwhile, with more potential corruption questions engulfing the Adams administration, the mayor continues to project the belief that he did nothing wrong. Asked where he will be a year from now. Believe it or not, this was his answer. A year from now, I see myself again raising my right hand, being called the mayor of the city of New York. For a mayor who came into office bragging about his swagger, this seemed to be swagger on steroids, insisting he'll not only complete his current term, but be re-elected to another one. This as the feds have expanded their investigation into the mayor's ties to foreign governments. People with knowledge of the situation telling CBS News New York that the feds delivered a new round of subpoenas to Adams' lawyer this summer, seeking information relating to the mayor's dealings with Israel, China, Qatar, South Korea, and his Pakistan. It's unclear just what the feds are looking for, but his honor said that as mayor, he had only visited Israel and Qatar, the five countries in addition to Turkey. The federal probe began last November with a raid on the home of his chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs. The feds looking into whether the mayor's 2021 mayoral campaign got illegal donations from Turkey in exchange for pressuring the fire department to approve a new Turkish consulate in Manhattan despite safety concerns. He was asked if the feds are on a fishing expedition. Trust me when I tell you, I would love to just give you a whole list of my thoughts on this. I'm a very opinionated person. I would love to do that. It's just not appropriate to do that. I'm not going to do anything that's going to interfere in an investigation. And then there's the question of City Sheriff Anthony Miranda, who has been leading the city's war on illegal pot shops. Sources say the Department of Investigation is looking into whether the sheriff's office is improperly seizing cash from the raids. This guy has closed down 1,100 uh, smoke shops. When they, on uh, my understanding of the procedure, when they voucher money, is videoed and is counted with the NYPD and the sheriff's office. Uh, so yes, I have confidence. He's doing the job that New York has asked him to ask him to do. And again, we've just learned a short time ago that school's chancellor David Banks will retire. I'll have much more on his decision ahead at six. Maurice and Christine. All right, Marcia, thank you.